this video, I am going to define the super elevation including lanes and super elevation rules. Here, I will create a super elevation section lane, define the super elevation rule files, review the super elevation editor, generate the super elevation reports to review the super elevation calculation results. First, I am going to select the super elevation section tool from the corridor modeling task menu to create the super elevation section. So, I am going to enter the name of the super elevation section which would be the southbound section and I am going to select the southbound control alignment from the graphics. Then after I am going to select the start station and the end station. I can use the alt key to lock the start and end of the alignment. There is the minimum tangent length volume. I have used the 500 feet. If there are curves which is having the higher value than the minimum tangent length, so this will create the section for each. In this case, we have only one. And this will create the section. Create super elevation lane tool should be automatically activated once we accept the minimum tangent length. If does not exist, then we can use the create super elevation lane tool from the corridor modeling task menu. I'm going to define the southbound lane. I'm going to enter the name the southbound lane and I'm going to select the type the primary. The side of center line it should be the left as it is moving from left north south to north. Inside edge offset is 0 and the width it should be 24. The inside edge offset and width entered here are only for the shape graphics. I'm going to enter the normal cross slope is minus 2%. I'm going to accept the entered value and this will create the one shape. Now I'm going to define the southbound shoulder lane. Here I'm going to type the name southbound outside shoulder. And I'm going to select the type primary. Side of center line is left. Inside edge offset is the 24. Width is 24 to show you it does not make any difference. And the normal cross slope is minus 5%. I'm going to accept the entered value and this will create another shape. As soon as I reset to finish super elevation lane, this will activate the calculation super elevation toolbar. This should automatically activate it. If it is not, this can be handled from the corridor modeling task menu. I'm going to select the files SE. SEP files and here I'm going to select the English 2011. I'm going to select the 8% to 75 mph and the lanes is the 2. The design speed is coming from the file and the transaction ID is linear. Number of lanes is 2. Facility is divided and the open editor is yes. I'm going to accept the selected value. This will open the super elevation editor and uh, this is the southbound control. This is the edge of the payment and this is the shoulder and the super elevation will raise from the negative 2% to 2.6% and this is the southbound. Now I'm going to define the northbound section. I'm going to use uh, the select create super elevation section from the corridor modeling task menu. I'm going to use the create super elevation section. I'm going to enter the name northbound section. I'm going to select the main control alignment from the graphics and I'm going to select the start station. Then after I'm going to select the end station. I'm going to enter the minimum tangent length. 
500 feet and this will create the north bound section create super elevation lane toolbar automatically activated once we hit finish the super elevation section now i'm going to type the name the north bound lane i'm going to select the side of center line it should be right i'm going to select the right inside edge offset is 0 width i'm going to use the 80 and the normal cross slope is minus 2% i'm going to accept the selected value and this will create the one shape for the north bound now i'm going to define the north bound shoulder lane i'm going to type the north bound outside shoulder i'm going to select the side of center line is right inside edge offset is 80 width 80 normal cross slope minus 5% okay my name is entered wrong i'm going to correct this name not bound outside shoulder and then i'm going to accept the entered value and then this will create the another shape now this will open the dialog box for the calculate super elevation toolbar as the setting is already done while creating the calculating the super elevation for southbound now i'm going to accept the entered value as it is and this will open the super elevation editor there are the two section nb section 1 and the nb section 2 I'm going to open the super elevation report tool from the quarter modeling task menu. I'm going to select the super elevation report tool and then I'm going to select the section. I'm going to select the three sections and then I'm going to reset it. Once I reset, the super elevation report opens. This is the super elevation report. And if I go to file and save as, I could see the several option which we could save this file, this report, HTML, XML, DOC, and we could save this report. 